So last night during the Netflix Festival Japan event was the Road to Stone Ocean, which was kind of like the final briefing before the anime releases in a very celebratory and Jojo fashion. The event featured a musical performance of Stone Ocean's theme by series composer Yugo Kano and a short talk session with the voice actors of Jolene, Ermes, and Foo Fighters. Both the performance and the talk were killer, Yugo Kano absolutely popped off, and I Fedos beautifully shamed all part skippers, which was pretty awesome. But it turns out we got so much more than what we expected for this event. So first and foremost, Stone Ocean release date, December 1st, 2021 on Netflix. So like three weeks away, awesome, much sooner than I expected. But it was also confirmed that on December 1st, the first 12 episodes of Stone Ocean will all be available at once, which means no more weekly JoJo and no more JoJo Fridays, which was honestly devastating to hear as a weekly watcher of the anime since part three. And my current impression is that I don't like this decision or the idea of batch releases for JoJo. The weekly release schedule was like a ritual for fans. It gave us something to look forward to every week and built up so much hype for each arc and character reveal. And it's not like the batch release is bad just because it breaks tradition, but in my opinion, it's bad for the series and the viewing experience. Weekly episodes gave us a consistent schedule with just the right amount of JoJo each week, giving proper time to appreciate each episode and pay closer attention to the animation and details we may not otherwise have in a 10 hour binge watch. The weekly schedule also results in more enthusiasm from the community, coming together at the same time each week, watching alongside our friends, and being able to discuss each episode throughout the week and building hype along the way. But now with the batch releases, we'll be getting 12 episodes all at once, binge watch it in a single day because I know you will, then quickly move on until we get our next batch of episodes that has yet to be confirmed, which creates the issue of inconsistency compared to the weekly schedule. So although I'm disappointed in the batch release schedule, I understand it might sound kind of silly or even ungrateful to be complaining about getting 12 episodes all at once, so I'm still very much excited for the anime and I will thoroughly enjoy my binge watch as it is something new and it does have its pros like being able to watch entire arcs uninterrupted, but in my opinion, I would still prefer a weekly release. So right now, my biggest concern is the wait in between batches and how that wait time is going to affect the pacing of the season as well as just my personal enjoyment. So right now, we know that we'll be getting 12 episodes or our first batch on December 1st. Then on January 7th, the season will begin releasing weekly on Japanese TV and other streaming services from episode one. This is due to the Netflix exclusive deal, but during the event, it was not stated how the release will continue on Netflix after December 1st. So we can only assume that a few months after December 1st, we will be getting another 12 episodes and then another 12 a few months after that, essentially breaking the part down into three 12 episode seasons, assuming that Stone Ocean will be around 36 to 39 episodes like Diamond is Unbreakable and Golden Wind, which is fair because in terms of total chapters, all those parts are generally around the same size. So really the total airtime accounting for the wait in between batches could be just as long as a weekly release schedule, assuming say another 12 episodes in like March 2022 and then the final batch of 12 or 15 episodes in summertime. So assuming what's most likely, which is the batch release every few months, I guess it just comes down to personal preference. Would you rather watch an episode a week for 39 weeks or have a big binge watch once every three to four months? But obviously this decision has something to do with Netflix. Maybe they prefer batches based on viewer retention stats or something, but clearly this is not the best fit for JoJo. And my assumptions of a batch release every three to four months may be overshooting a little bit, but it seems to make the most sense as a batch release every month seems unrealistic and who would want Stone Ocean to be over in three months? It just wouldn't feel like a JoJo season if it doesn't last for at least half a year. But on a more positive note, on day one, December 1st, Stone Ocean will be simuldubbed, available in English, German, Spanish, and French, which is honestly shocking as before parts wouldn't be dubbed until months after they had completely finished, which is pretty cool. And on Netflix right now, you can hear the voice of the main cast in all the different languages on the trailer for Stone Ocean. Also, as I'm sure you could tell from the footage, a metric ass load of new trailers dropped right after the event, four in total showcasing footage from the first batch of episodes. Featuring first appearances from Mira Shone, Thunder McQueen, Lane Ranger, Kiss, Foo Fighters and Standform, Poochie's Hand and Foot, a bunch of new Jolene and Stone Free shots, as well as Jotaro's big ass head. So this will probably be the final Stone Ocean news coverage video as we are so close to release and we already know pretty much everything we 
need to, and more because of the leak this weekend, like details from the opening as well as the ending song, but I won't spoil you guys. Because honestly, the leak was whack as hell. We are so close to the release, and I wanted to be surprised by the ending song so much, but no, we, we can't have nice things. But I will let you guys know, don't worry, not a spoiler, but the 12th episode is titled Torrential Storm Warning, which gives us an idea of where this first batch will end, which is most likely at the end of the Savage Garden arc, which is a pretty good stopping point if we are going to be waiting for a few months for the next batch. So thank you guys so much for watching. It has been an honor keeping you guys posted on all the latest Stone Ocean news ever since the Inherited Soul event, and I can't wait to bring you guys even more content once this anime drops. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, check out Break Free Supply for some Stone Ocean themed merch, and I'll talk to you guys all real soon. Peace!